What's going on everybody? How are you guys doing today? Before we get into today's video, be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss out on any future Roblox content or RB Battles uploads. And without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do to get this brand new badge is load into a game called Roblox Islands. I'm going to leave a link to this game in the description, that way it's easier for you guys to access. As soon as you load in, you'll see this little tab. Islands update. Roblox Battles. Our Roblox Battle. Uh, Roblox Battles Villager is waiting at your portal. Complete his item scavenger hunt for a limited edition trophy. Next thing you're gonna do, just ignore this little tab that doesn't really matter. Is next thing you're gonna do is get to that little main island over there because there's a villager right there, right behind my cow, right there. So first thing I'm gonna do is break at least twenty pieces of this grass, and I'll be right back once I do that. All, all right, guys. So as you can see, I got 20 pieces of grass. If you don't know how to do this, you spawn in the game with an axe, and all you gotta do is hold down on the brick. All right. Next thing I do is get those 20 pieces of grass and build to the next island. It has a little gray block over here, so you can't miss it, and it also has a tree. After that, build to the next island. Directly after that, you should have enough blocks to make it. If you don't, as I said, 20 is guaranteed to be enough, so just mine 20. Over here now, right beside your portal, you'll see a RB Battles Merchant. Just click on him and he'll tell you everything you need to do. First thing you're going to need to do is mine some stone. This is the first thing on the list, so let's get straight into that. Alright guys, so to make this much, much easier and faster, get your little wooden axe and break these trees on your island. Break every single one on the main island, that should be enough for now. After you've done that, you can see we have a piece of wood, come to your workbench and craft this wooden pickaxe. This will make mining stone a little bit faster. Next thing you want to do is come to these little gray blocks and mine five of these. I'll be right back as soon as I do that. It's the same way as you mine grass, you simply hold down on the block and aim your cursor toward there. Alright guys, so as you can see we have 5 stone, and once you do that, just walk all the way back to the RB Battles Merchant. And if you're on PC, press F to start, and if you're on mobile, just tap on him. As you can see guys, we have 5 out of 5 stone. Next thing we need is 5 fish. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Alright guys, so just come to your main little island again, and come back to your workbench where you crafted your wooden pickaxe. Go click on the basic workbench, and as you'll see, you need five pieces of wood and two pieces of iron. How do you get iron, you may ask? Well, if you haven't already broken this little piece, just go ahead and do that. This will give you at least two pieces of iron. As you can see, we already got one, and there's two. Now come back to the workbench, craft yourself the basic workbench. Next thing you want to do is place it down anywhere on your island, go into it, and you want to create a fishing rod. It costs ten wood. And when you destroyed these two trees, you actually got saplings, so just go ahead and replant those, that way you could start producing even more wood. Ignore this little notification on top, that does not matter for the RB Battles event. So just go ahead and break all, the, all this wood. You need 10 pieces of wood, I'll be right back once these two trees grow. Alright guys, so it could take about two minutes for these trees to grow, but as soon as they do, just go ahead and chop them down with your trusty axe. Alright guys, so now we have 12 wood. That is more than enough to make the fishing rod. You guys don't actually need this workbench anymore, so if you want, you could go ahead and break it. If not, it doesn't really matter. Go ahead and craft yourself the wooden fishing rod. After you do that, Come back over here, and this is where you're going to go through the portal. Alright guys, so as soon as you're through the portal, you'll see this huge little village. It might be a little bit confusing to find everything, but don't worry, I'm here to guide you. As soon as you load in, you'll see this little portal. Just follow this little brown path and come where this rock is. Come all the way over here, and catch five fish. It's very easy, just click your screen with your cursor and you'll be able to get some fish. I'll show you an example. See, they'll click onto it. As soon as you see them move, just collect it. It could be five different fish. It doesn't have to be specific uh, pieces of fish like five salmon or five trout. It's just 
whatever fish you get, it counts. All right, guys, so as you can see, we now have four pieces of fish. We just need one more. Let's hope that this little fish over here can hook onto our rod. That should do it. Perfect, guys. All right, we got five fish. We got one carp, one catfish, one salmon, one trout, and one blue tank. Remember, guys, it doesn't have to be one specific kind. It could be a variety of different ones. As soon as you're done that, go through the main portal again. All right, guys, once you go through your main portal, just go back all the way to the little RB Battles merchant, and you can see that you're done that part of the quest. Tap on him, and it should say you have five fish, but there's actually a little glitch going on right now where it says you only have four, but they will patch that soon, guys. So if it only says you have four fish, just go ahead and catch another fish, so you'll have a total of six fish. All right, guys, so as you can see, we now have a total of six fish because I went ahead and caught another one. If we go here, now it says we have five out of five uh, fish. Now let's go ahead and make some bread. All right, guys, so the bread step is a little bit of a harder thing to do if you're a beginner. If you played this game before and you're half decent at it, it should be a breeze. But what you're going to do is create a cooking table. You need 30 pieces of wood and 10 pieces of iron. Now, as you can see before, there was a piece of iron here, but it might not be there anymore. So what you're going to do to get the iron is come through this portal. After you go through the portal, you're going to follow where I go. Come through here, right past the windmill. To the right, you'll see these little blocks of iron. The ones with the little white specks on it are the ones you're going to want to mine. You need 10 of those, so get your trusty wooden pickaxe out. Get it, and break 10 of these. Five should do, though, if it gives you five iron per ore. All right, guys, so I went ahead and broke six of those iron blocks, and I got 12 iron ore, which is more than enough. Next thing I want to do is go right through the main portal again. All right, guys, next thing I want to do is you'll see these little sap saplings that you got before. Go ahead and plant every single one of these down. So we go one there, another right over there, one here, and then you can put another one on any of these islands. The reason why you guys need wood is because you're going to need to make a campfire so that you could smelt this iron ore. As you can see right now it's iron ore, but when you go to make a cooking table you need 10 iron. The way you get iron is by making a campfire with 10 pieces of wood and then smelting that iron. To make things a little bit faster guys, you could harvest this little berry bush that you have over here. And you could come all the way through the portal again. Once you're through that portal, as you can see, we have two berries. All you got to go over here is this little guy with the green shirt, and he says sell crops. Come here, sell both of your berries. You'll get a total of 44 coins. Just press sell on one and sell on two. That should be your first 44 coins. If you're looking to make even more money, come all the way back through this portal. Once you guys are through the portal, what you want to do is pick up this little plow if you haven't already and harvest every single piece of this wheat do the same process you go through the portal go to the green shirt guy and sell the wheat again now guys if you're looking to get wood a little bit faster so you can start making bread and killing slimes then all you gotta do is go to these the seed guy and buy one of these saplings you could get even more wood by doing so you might only have enough for one but don't worry guys i'm going to show you a great way to get even more coins really fast so you have two options here either one you could wait for some more berries to grow so you could sell them again two you could harvest this wheat again and replant them with the wheat seeds this is very slow money though and the third option is actually really good. Break this berry bush right over here. It's this little green bush. And if you haven't collected the berries already, you'll see these little pink spots. As you see now, we have a, a couple berry seeds. That's what I'm going to do to make a lot of money really fast is come to anywhere over here. Go to this little compass badge. Come anywhere over here. There might be buy and sell, for example. You're going to click on a couple of these islands until you could sell these berry seeds. Right now, I'm going to click on buy and sell. 
All right, guys. So luckily on the buy and sell island, there is actually berry seeds. All you got to do if you load onto the buy and sell item or any item, just come over here, click F to view the vending machine and sell that berry seed. And now you have 10,000 coins. Next thing you're going to do is go back to your island just by pressing this go home button. If you're on mobile, it should be on the side of your screen. Now that you have 10,000 coins, you can come all the way back here through the portal again. And I'm going to show you how to get the tomatoes while these two things are waiting. As I said, go through this portal. Once you're through the portal, guys, come all the way to here. Instead of going on the cell crops, go to seeds. Tomato seeds are 250 coins. That's what you're going to buy because you need one tomato. With the rest of the money you have, if you want to get wood even faster, like you could almost quadruple the time, just go to seeds again, go buy some more saplings. They're pretty cheap, so it's a pretty good investment. I'm going to go for around maybe 10. 10 is only 500 coins. So let's go ahead and do that. And another thing you should do, to that way you could plant more seeds on your island because there's like limited space. Go find the block merchant. It should be right over here, right beside the florist. Go to the block merchant and buy, I'd say, around 50 pieces of grass for 250 coins. Now that you guys are back on your island, get your trusty tomato seed. And you should have this little plot over here. Just plant the tomato seed right over there and it should grow in a matter of no time. Next thing, if you followed all of my steps, then what you could do now is get your grass right over here in your inventory. If you don't know how to access your inventory, press this button or press E on your keyboard. Get your trusty grass and build a nice plot of land where you can start building trees. Now guys, if you followed my step and you have a lot of trees that are growing, now what you could do is break some of these down. Simply replant them and repeat and repeat that process. You should, by the time you destroy a lot of these trees, you should have enough for a sword and a campfire. So go ahead and make yourself one of each of those. Obviously what you need to make them is wood. If you follow my steps, as I said, you should have almost enough wood. So you should have 20, that way you can make yourself a uh, campfire and a sword. Just come back to your basic workbench. Make yourself a wooden sword right here. It costs 20 wood. And then you're going to need another 10 wood to make the campfire. Alright guys, so as you can see, I repeated the process a couple times. I now have 12 pieces of wood. I'm going to come into my basic workbench and make myself a campfire. If you don't see it in your hotbar over here, just come to your inventory, clear a random item. For example, I don't really need a catfish or a carp anymore for now. Put your campfire there and place it just down on the ground right over here. When you press F to open it, you'll see there's nothing there. But what you want to do is put one iron ore there and then come back through that portal. You're going to need to use this portal multiple times for this RB Battles badge. All right, guys, once you're through the portal, just come over here. And you'll see these little gray rocks, but instead of them having little white spots, you want to break the ones with the black spots. This will end up giving you coal. Do not use an axe for this like what I'm doing. Instead, you should use one of these pickaxes right over here. You should have one if you followed the steps before this. You're going to need at least 10 pieces of coal. Actually, make that 20, but 10 should do. Like 20 should be the maximum, 10 should be the minimum. So just go ahead and mine yourself all of that. All right, guys, so I went ahead and got myself 16 pieces of coal. Now, same process, go back through this portal, all the way back here. And once you're through there, I'll tell you the next steps. All right, we're back here. Now I'm gonna do, go into your campfire. You'll see there's already one iron ore there. Now just put that piece of coal right there and that piece of iron will smelt. Now if you come all over to your tomatoes, you should have the tomatoes ready. There you can see we now have one tomato. Come into your inventory, we have one tomato. Now let's go to the Orby Battles Merchant to see if we have that quest done. Boom guys, we have one tomato, five fish and five stone. That leaves us with three more quests. Now I'm going to show you how to get some coral. 
All right, guys, once you're through that portal, come all the way back over to the little pond where you caught the fish. I forgot to mention, guys, do not sell any of the items that you get because if you sell them, it will mark off of the checklist. Once you're over here, just go ahead, get the wooden pickaxe and jump into the water and dive all the way down. You'll see little pieces of coral all the way here. So like, for example, this, this is a piece of coral. I do not believe the grass is considered coral, but it might be considered. I'm not 100% sure. Just stay in here and collect 10 pieces of this. All right, guys. So just like the fish, you might, they could be a variety of different ones, but you might have to get one extra one. For example, for the fish, we needed one extra fish to achieve five. For the coral, you might need 11 coral. Now that you want to do is... Hold the space bar if you're on PC or hold or press jump if you're on mobile and you should get to the surface of the water. Just come through the portal again. Once you're through the portal guys, just come again to the RB Battles Merchant and it should say that you have all the coral that you need. Alright guys, so as you can see we got 5 coral. I thought we needed 10 so I went ahead and got 11 but guys you might only need to get 6 or 5. Next, since you created the sword, let's go get the slime balls. Again, guys, go through the portal and then take a sharp left over here and you will see a portal right beside someone named the Adventurer. Go through that and get your trusty wooden sword out. Clear one of the items that you don't need currently. I don't really need any of these items right now, so I'm going to go ahead and equip my wooden sword. And then you'll see these little green blocks. Just go ahead and kill them. It takes 10 hits to kill each of these slimes if you have a wooden sword. If you have a better weapon because you've been playing the game for a little bit longer... That's even easier. So just go ahead and kill these little slimes. They will drop these things called slime balls, which you need for the tutorial also, guys. All right, guys, so we went ahead and got 10 green slime balls. You have a big chance of getting a green sticky gear, guys. If you guys don't want to wait to get the, uh, what's it called? The bread bench? Then just go ahead to another one of those islands and sell this as well. That can sell for around 3,000 coins. So guys, now once you're done getting the slime balls, again, come through the little portal. Go back to the RB Battle Merchant. And you should be done that quest. As you can see, we got 10 slime balls. Lastly, we just need the two pieces of bread. So it might seem hard at first, but trust me, it's a little bit easy. Just keep repeating the process as before. Keep putting one piece of iron, put a piece of coal. You should get enough iron in about, I'd say, five minutes of grinding. And remember, guys, just keep breaking these trees and replanting them. All right, guys, so if you followed my steps and kept on breaking the trees and smelting iron, you should be done in about ten minutes, as I said. And now, give yourself a runner up. A round of applause because you are just about done. Go back into your basic workbench. Go craft yourself a cooking table right over here. It says used to craft basic cooked meals. Go ahead and craft that right over there. Once you get it, simply just place it down right over here. And you'll see that there is dough. If you do not have enough materials to make dough, just come over here and harvest your wheat. And that should be all you need. Go ahead and craft yourself around one piece i'd say how much let's let's go see how much bread we need i'll be right back after i check that all right guys so what you gotta do to get the bread now is as i said get the wheat create two pieces of dough that's all you need come into your little campfire that you had before place the dough in the campfire and power it with coal and you are so so close to finishing and getting the badge all right, guys, so you're going to put the dough in the campfire two times and power it with coal two times and boom. Just press F on top of it and you now have your two pieces of bread. Give yourself a round of applaud and I congratulate you as you now could get the badge. You know you did this right if every single one of these are green and you press redeem. Look what it says right there. Badge awarded. They'll say your username, Islands RB Battles badge. And you also got this special little trophy, the Roblox Battles trophy. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope I helped. Be sure to subscribe if I ended up helping. 
Let's try and hit 300 subs within the next two weeks. We somehow hit 200 in two weeks, so I believe we can do this. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Have a great rest of your night. Goodbye.